Clean a little bit. This is James Elder Pro TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. With me, I've got the Ginger Rocket, Jamie Robinson, and uh, also joined by former European champion Ryan Rhodes. What's happening, Ryan? All good. good. All good. good. Another um, win. Another win. Third round TKO win over Sam Sharp. Talk, talk me through that, mate. Yeah. Well, I don't know what's happening, but. Uh, we were just, kind of just listening to Ryan, just boxing him smart, in punches in bunches, some very fast, and um, it, it, it was tiring, and I was catching him with body shots, and then I got caught at the end of the second, which made a massive cut on the back of my head. Can we have a look at that? He's got st six stitches, like, so... Um, Another feature on his face. <laughs> just just <laughs> took it from experience, I didn't panic, I just watched myself, I got a cut man. But then I panicked a bit when the referee come round and we said, oh, it was an elbow. And he said, no, it's a punch. So and then, he, then he, come around, he come around in the third round, went to go for me a bit, had a bit of a standoff with him. And then I just thought to myself, he's open to the right hand. So as soon as he come, I just swung a right hand and he was just out, around the floor and I'll bounce it around and that was about it. I mean, since he's come to you, Ryan, he's undefeated. He looks in fantastic, Nick. He's representing for all ginger people out there. <laughs> <laughs> How pleased are you? Like, How pleased <laughs> <laughs> How pleased are you for his progress? I'm very pleased, and uh, you know I've I've seen Jamie uh, fighting on Dave's show prior to, to working with Jamie, and he's he's got a lot of talent, and uh, it was just a case of slowing him down a little bit and um, making him you know be confident in what what he was doing. Um, I think that's all we did. Just took him, just slowed him down a little bit, uh, and when you when he slows down, you see his work rate a lot better. You see his Punches a lot better and uh, his combinations are a lot better. So we just, you know, we've we've uh, a little bit like we did with Ross. We took his balls away from him and, and just slowed him down a little bit. I mean, um, three fights, two stoppages, and uh, he's getting better and better. He's listening, which is which is more important. Mm, what's balls over like? Balls over. Balls, balls over. Not balls over. No balls over. Yeah, balls. balls, over. balls uh, it's, over. Uh, it's a small, small historic town in. Um, they're just out the outside of uh, Chesterfield. It's a great little town, and they're very supportive, and they get behind me. And to be fair, like they, they've they've turned out in force every time, and it just it's a credit to be able to box as a home home boxer, originally from Essex. So, so they're for them to get behind me since going out in Chester in Bolsover for about three about five years now. It's, it's it's amazing. Like everyone's just got behind me, and they're really supportive. The old towns behind me. I mean, you've travelled all the way up to Derby. I think he's done about 60, 70 tickets all the way coming to Derby. When he fights on in Sheffield and uh, he does about 140, 150 tickets, they really get behind him because he's an entertaining fighter. Yeah. And uh, he's just going from strength to strength and uh, he's going to get better and better. Caldwell said you've got a style made for TV. It's an exciting yeah. style. And as Ryan said, sometimes you've got to slow you down a little bit. Yeah, my problem is once, once punches start flying, I'm an ugly ginger kid. I want nothing to lose. I just want to get in and have a scrap. <laughs> I just love a tear up, but um, and sometimes like Ryan, Ryan keeps my head calm, and I just get to get my boxing together because anybody, anybody can fight, but not everybody can box. So. That's right. That's very true. Very true. true. What's the next step for him then, Ryan? When can we anticipate seeing him uh, rounds, seeing yeah. him in action? Seven. Next six rounds. Yeah, uh, I think Dave's got a show in September. Uh, we're moving him up to a six rounder, and uh, I think it'll suit him a lot more. He's, he's fit as. Uh, as fit as they come, you know. I mean, all, you only have to look at his physique and, and his body. He, he puts the puts the puts the hard work in the gym, um, dedicates himself, and uh, he does his diet right, which is which is very important. So we've got him in a six rounder in September, and uh, I think, like I said, the longer the fights are, I think they'll suit suit Jamie a lot more. Yeah, to relax a little bit more because four rounds is a you've bit got, of a, you've bit got to of get, a sprint. Yeah, yeah, you've you got to get one round, and then the next round could be a draw, and you just you drawing or you're losing, so mm -hmm. you just you gotta make sure you get out of the blocks fast and win. But it will suit my style because then I can relax a little bit more, and then I can get my boxing flow and thinking, oh, if I lose it, if I lose this round, I've got I've got so many more rounds to pick it up. So it's it's, it's a good learning experience. And Work in progress. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards, as I say. Thank you for giving IFTV a bit of time, Jamie, mate. Nice one, Ryan. Uh, Never got to ask him twice for an interview. <laughs> we'll see you again. Love it. Love it. <laughs> <laughs>